What is a triadic warehouse? Please stay with me and I will explain it. Okay, a triadic warehouse. Let me draw you a plan warehouse and then I'll talk you through the concept of a monadic and a triadic warehouse. So let's start with a warehouse design. In this case, I'm drawing a rectangular warehouse. You can see it here. And we might have receiving coming in here and dispatch coming out there. So this is actually a U-shaped design warehouse. Okay, now if this is a monadic warehouse, what this means is that when we put stock in there, we put it in randomly in any location. Now, there are a lot of warehouses still operating this way, but what they lack is efficiency and productivity. So what I'm suggesting is that companies think about the triadic layout of a warehouse and also the triadic operation of a warehouse. A triadic warehouse is uh, determined by three factors. First of all, we have A class, B and C class goods. A being fast, these are fast moving goods, B being medium in terms of velocity, and C being slow. In a monadic warehouse, as I've drawn it, you can put goods in any location without reference to whether they're fast, medium, or slow, but the problem is, as I said before, you will have productiv productivity issues with this warehouse. If I move to a triadic warehouse, well, guess what? What I'm going to do is put the fast moving goods towards the front. And that then gives us uh, good access to those goods moving in and moving out. Then secondly, we'll put the medium in the middle. And of course, the slow at the back. So when we do this, we're able to actually improve the efficiency of the warehouse and we're able to create a situation where we're thinking about um, the operation in a far more productivity-based uh, way. Uh, now let me show you how the result of that. If I have a continuum here, and this is uh, monadic at this end, and triadic at this end, and this is efficiency here. Let's say we've got efficiency as a percent. As we move along this continuum, we're able to move from a monadic to a triadic one, and the result of that is that we improve our efficiency overall. So if we're here as a starting point, we're able to apply triadic thinking to our warehouse, then we're able to move to a future point where we will be much more efficient. The key is to have our people, people working in the warehouse, being able to focus on each of these areas, the slow, medium, and the fast goods, and to plan and place stock accordingly. Now, in the outset, a lot of companies design triadic warehouses, but as they operate, operators forget that, and systems aren't set up to manage the stock. So it's really important that the staff are thinking triadically and that the system is well sought up so that you can achieve the efficiency that you need. So there you have it, the triadic warehouse. Don't forget to comment below uh, about this video. And if you like, you can subscribe to our videos, which are released every Wednesday. Thank you.